Greetings, people of God. You are live. Um, 2AJ TV, 2AJ Records. This is the leading edition of the author with Adam Bavik. This is a special program designed by the authority of 2AJ Production to liberate God's people from the bondage of the enemy. Of course, this program is designed to win souls for Christ. Hence, the program is full of salvation messages and prayers. Sometimes, too, we are going to pray with you. Uh, this is the maiden edition. Um, tonight, we have the woman of God here, Adam Bavik. It is an honor to introduce you the woman of God. But before then, my name is very man in the end of the day, or the African panacea. Now, let's introduce the woman of God. Um, the youngest evangelist so far, um, Adam Bavik. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God for how far He brought us. It's not by our minds, it's not by our hard work, but just the grace of God. That's why we are all staying alive. Today, wherever you are, I want you to raise up your hands and shout, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because He has done a marvelous work. Today, you are welcome to the first edition of The Altar with Adam Bavik. And this program was designed purposely to to save God's people from the enemy's bondage and also to, to depopulate hell and populate heaven to let people know that hell and heaven is real and so therefore they should seek salvation for their soul hallelujah hallelujah there are so many things people cherish in life people cherish mansions other cherish cars range overs land cruises and today when you go to the social media handles there are a lot of going on people are not afraid of it anymore they think it's 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 nothing and therefore they cherish it a lot mm. but today at the end of my message to come to realize that money is not everything pleasure is not everything and whatever you are struggling to get there will be a day you leave it on this earth mm. so this brings us to the topic of my message the the most valued the most valued yeah. hallelujah Man of God, please read Ecclesiastes chapter 2, verses 1 for me to 11. Ecclesiastes okay. chapter 2, the verse number 1 to 11. I proceed. I thought in my heart. I thought in my heart. Come now. Come now. I will test you with pleasure. I will test you with pleasure. Find out what is good. Find out what is good. But that also proved to be meaningless. But that also proved to be meaningless. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. Ecclesiastes is one of the wisdom literature book in the Bible. And this portion was written by King Solomon. Let me talk a brief story about King Solomon. King Solomon was a son of David. He had a lot of wealth, pleasure, anything we can talk about right now. Mansions, cars, anything, silver, gold. Like, what do he, what does he need and he doesn't get it? He get everything he needs. And even women. So no wonder he married 700 women and even having 300 concubines. Mm. He did a lot. But everything he did, it was proven to be meaningless. It was proven to be out of vanity. Mm. Man of God, continue. Laughter, I said. Laughter, I said. It's foolish. It's foolish. And what does pleasure accomplish? And what does pleasure accomplish? Clubbing, killing people just because of money, prostitution, lesbianism, and all the illnesses. What does it accomplish? What does pleasure accomplished? He asked himself. Hmm. I tried sharing myself with he one. He tried sharing himself with one. And embracing fully. And embracing fully. My mind still guide me with wisdom. All of what he did, still his mind guiding him with wisdom. I wanted to see what was worthwhile for men to do under heaven. Oh, hallelujah. The new days of their lives. He wanted to see what is the most valued thing on this earth. Mm. He wanted to see what could make man more happier. Mm. So man of God continue what he did. What experiments he took. I undertook great projects. He undertook great projects. I built myself up. I built 
houses for myself he built a lot of houses for himself and planted vineyards and planted vineyards i made gardens and parks he made gardens and parks and planted all kinds of and fruit planted trees in them. all kinds of fruit trees in them i made reservoirs to he water made homes. reservoirs of flourishing trees of flourishing trees i bought male and female slaves he bought male and female slaves and had slaves who were born and even had slaves who were born in his house i also own more herbs he also owned more herbs and and flocks and flocks than anyone in jerusalem than anyone in jerusalem everybody in jerusalem was before him I amassed silver and gold he, for myself. He amassed silver and gold for himself. And All the, his, like his best chest, everything in his house was made up of gold and silver. And the treasure of kings. And the treasure of kings. And province. And province. I acquired men and women singers. Oh, he acquired men and women singers. And held them as well. And held them as well. So even in this modern Ghana, he could have great musicians we know in Ghana. We can talk about, mm. but all upon all what he did, mm. it was proven to be meaningless. It was out of one. The man of God continued. The delight of the heart of man. The delight of the heart of man. I became greater by far than anyone in. He Jerusalem became before. greater than anybody in Jerusalem. By far than anyone in Jerusalem before me. By far than everybody in Jerusalem before him. Every, in all this, in all this, my wisdom stayed with me. In all this, his wisdom say, stayed with him. I denied myself nothing my eyes desired. He didn't deny himself what his eyes could see. Everything he sees, he go for it. When it's a woman, he go for that woman. Whether clothes, whether food, anything, he didn't deny himself what his eyes could see. I refuse my heart no pleasure. He refused his heart with no pleasure. My heart took delight in all my work. His heart took delight in all his work. And this was the reward for all my labor. And that was the reward for all his labor. Yet when I surveyed all that my hands had done. Yet when he surveyed all what his hands had done. And what I had toyed to achieve. And what he had struggled to get on this earth. Everything was meaningless. Everything was meaningless. A changing after the wind. A chasing after the Just wind. Just a chase after the wind. Nothing was gained under the sun. Nothing was gained. Nothing was accomplished. It was all proven to be meaningless. Whatever we are trying, whatever he struggled to get, he toyed for. It was all proven to be meaningless. Nothing. He didn't accomplish anything. And you know the sad point in this. Man of God, read chapter 17 to 19 for me. The verse number 17 to 19. Yeah. So I hated life. He, so he hated life. Because the work that is done under the sun. The work that him. was done under the sun was grievous to him. All of it is meaningless. All of it is meaningless. It doesn't make any sense. A chasing after the wind. It's just a chasing after the wind. I hated all the things I had toyed for. He under hated the sun. all the things he had toyed for under because the sun. I must leave them to the one who comes. Of after. course. There will be a day he will leave everything on this earth. And it would be after the person who come before him. He, he will leave everything on this earth. Everything he struggled to get, he toyed for. He will leave it on this earth because he didn't come with anything. And therefore, he shall leave with nothing. So, I love what Job said. At the gem you by now the gem you may man of God continue for me. Verse 19. And who knows? And who knows whether he will be a wise man? Whether that person who will take after him will be a wise person or a fool. Yet he will have control over yet all Yet he will the have control. Into which I have poured my efforts. Of course. And skill under the sun. Yet he will take control over everything he has struggled to get. This too is meaningless. Today I want to tell you that Jesus is the most valid. So all what you need is to live a righteous life. Seek first his kingdom and righteousness, and everything shall be added unto you. As Matthew chapter 6, verse 33 said, 
seek first his kingdom and righteousness live a life live your life for god accept jesus christ in your life everything you are struggling to get let me remind you you shall leave it on this earth whatever we are toiling to get struggling under the sun there will be a day we will leave it on this earth because all of it is worldly things and the, the 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 thing that will stay on this earth is the word of god and that time when you have jesus in your life then you shall be saved although i'm young but i've seen and heard a lot of people who were much worthier than what you do but all of them they are no more they are dead the man who even ruled out for 20 good years there was a time we even called him Junior Jesus. That is the late former president, Jerry John Rollins. He's no more there. He's dead. He was much worthier than you. He had a lot of mansions, scars. A lot of things we can talk about. But right now, he's dead. And he didn't live with even a pin. At the gym near the bayou. At the gym near the San Diego. So why are you killing people just to gain money? Why are you prostituting just to gain money, just to acquire money? Why are you engaging yourself in all the LBTQ plus arts just because of money? Money is not everything. Pleasure is not everything. Because you, you, you are political influential, so you don't respect anyone. You look down upon everybody. But let me, let me remind you, on Revelation chapter 3 verse 17, man of God, read that quotation for me. Revelation chapter 3 verse 17. You don't care about anybody. You think you have everything in this earth. You are lying to yourself. You are lying. Solomon had everything. Solomon had everything, but still, it was proven to be meaningless. The man who the whole Jerusalem even come before him. Come down. He ruled the whole place. All his birds, his chairs, everything in his house was made up of gold and silver. And yet, he said everything he possessed was meaningless. You, you, you haven't gained anything. Man of God, if you have opened, read it for me. Revelation chapter three the verse number seven Revelation chapter three verse seventeen and i proceed you say you say i am rich i am rich i have acquired wealth i have acquired wealth and do not and, need a thing and you do not need a thing but you do not realize that but you do not realize that you are rich you are rich pitiful pitiful poor Blind and naked. Blind and naked. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Although you see physically, you see yourself, you've dressed up. But not knowing spiritually, you are naked. You see yourself, you have eyes. But spiritually, you are blind. You are pitiful. You are, you are wrenched. Money is not everything. So don't think money is everything. Money is not everything. So I want you to seek salvation for your soul. And live your life for Christ. Live a life pleasing to God. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the most valued. Accept Jesus today. Because my dear Lord. The kings of kings. And the Lord of Lord. Is coming soon. He's coming soon. Whatever you possess right now. There will be a day. You leave everything on this earth. When you were coming, you were naked. You, you weren't holding even a pin. So right now, seek salvation for your soul. And allow God to enter into your life. Let God take control. If you are going to serve God and listen to him, all your days will be filled of prosperity. And all years, will be filled of pleasantness. As Job chapter 36 verses 11 says, live your life for God. Live your life for God.
Jesus is the way. Jesus is the only one who can give you eternal life. Today you may think money is everything. You may think all whatever you are doing or whatever you cherish most is the best thing. But stop fooling yourself. Stop deceiving yourself. My Lord Jesus is capable of making you rich. If you live for him, he's going to give you all what you need. They seek salvation for your soul and accept Jesus as your savior. And he will never leave you behind. Avoid all those elite sex. Live the life of God. Jesus is here to save you. There will be a day you, you won't get this opportunity. Right now, accept Jesus. And then you would do now do a china wahua. And then you would do now do a china wahua. And then you would do a china wahua. If you are ready to accept Jesus today, then Jesus is ready to save you. Live the life for God. Live a life pleasing to God. Live a life of integrity. And my, and my God will never forsake you. My God will be always there for you. To guide you, protect you, and help you in times of need. On paying him go as you. On paying him go as you. So live your life for God. He nyam me a sum no no. Who would to me. And he is the impossibility specialist. He is the hope of glory. If you accept him today, he will give you all your needs. Sikanu jite ye rati dia. He possess everything. Live the life of God and accept Jesus today. Hey, gazing won't lead you to any far better. Lesbianism won't take you to any anywhere. It's just a worldly thing. And we shall leave it right here on this earth. And that day, if you die, are you qualified to be in the kingdom of God? You just ask yourself this question right now. Assuming today you, 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 you won't wake up today. Are you qualified to be in the kingdom of God? Ask yourself this question. You are not qualified, right? Then start to live the life of God and accept Jesus today. God will never forsake you nor leave you alone. But he will help you. The most valued is Jesus Christ. Jesus is the most valued. God bless you and help you. And today may the glory of the Lord be raising upon you. In Jesus' name, Amen.